we have to think a multidisciplinary approach. And, and for somebody that is physically abusing themselves, first of all, you've got to get, make sure there's not um, a medical sort of, sort of thing going on. Because there are some kids that have these things that look like terrible tantrums or meltdowns where they're banging their head that actually are seizures. Um, so sometimes when parents are very confused about like, I don't even know what to do, I, I certainly would video my child and then make sure a doctor looks at it. So you've got to clear out doctoral, you know, a, you know, the medical um, sorts of things. And then, then you've got to look at, do they, <clears throat> do they have a way to communicate? Um, because sometimes if we're just focusing on a person verbally talking, um, that can add to kind of the angst um, of their situation. So, um, you know, a good multidisciplinary team of a communication, uh, speech and language therapist, an occupational therapist, and a BCBA, I think in combination, um, there are BCBAs that are fabulous when they take the full understanding of the neurological complexities of the child. Because I know, I know, and I've, I've been, I've sat with families when, you know, like the, the an ABA said, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work uh, because you're not. And then they'll tell the parents they're not doing it enough or, or something when really it's, it's, it's a complex sort of thing. So you can't just focus on one thing while you are, um, because what, what if it's a sensory need and, and part of the, the head banging is related to, um, you know, a, you know, hypo, hypo reactive sort of situation with craving, craving th those different kinds of feelings. Um, and then, then they're frustrated and they have no way to communicate. That's where the, uh, perhaps assistive technology, perhaps it's pictures, but it's like, you can't, you got to do it all at once. And there are wonderful clinics um, for families that do all of that. And if families can think of it as, this is, I mean, because they think behavior, it's a behavior. So I need a behavior therapist. A behavior therapist can be very helpful, but only if they are fully knowledgeable about that, that um, child's um, entire kind of like history and other sorts of things.